Hey guys, as the title says, I built a houseboat but small. How small is it? About the size that my camera boat can drive through inside the interior. Which camera boat? I haven't built it yet, but it's about this size. It will carry my run cam 2 camera. Why houseboat? Actually, I already started building a houseboat even before I planned to make an RC aircraft carrier, but cancelled because I felt overwhelmed to fill the big space with furnitures and I read this comment about how I should put a camera inside my yacht's model. It gave me a boost to revisit my cancelled houseboat project, but for the start, I will choose smaller one instead of super yachts, which is a houseboat. So here I try design it again with blender, now with furnitures so I will not feel overwhelmed again and the scale is 110. The design was inspired by houseboat designs by Polish manufacturer Mboat. I will build the model with plywood board, PVC foam board, and plexiglass or acrylics. Let's check this out. The concept of a houseboat is similar with a tiny house concept. The space and the furniture were efficiently designed to maximize the space and utility. But you may be wonder why there are some empty area that are too big on my houseboat. It's because the idea is to enjoy it, not only from the outside but from the inside as well. To experience as if we are on board a real houseboat. So the space have to be big enough for a camera bot to wandering around and navigate inside without frequently stumble upon furniture and obstacles. I need to build a camera bot as tall as 110 human size, 18 centimeters or 7 inch tall. It will carry my run cam 2, a video transmitter, and a 2S battery. I will use 360 micro servos as the motors and set them up with differential drive. Okay, check this out.
To make the house model float, I will make catamaran pontoons. I will use solid foam block for the material, so I will not worry about leaking. I never weighed the house model, but I think it's more than 10 kilograms or 22 pounds. The volume of these two pontoons is about 16,600 cubic centimeters, so the displacement will be about 16.5 kilograms. So it looks like the pontoons will still have portion that above the water. We'll see about it when testing the actual model. My RC aircraft carrier used a boat propeller, and it caught fishing lines many times. So in this houseboat, I want to try different type of propulsion. I think I will go back in time using pedal wheel. I will place both pedal wheel here on its sides, and use differential drive to move forward and steer it. There is not enough thrust produced by pedal wheels to counter the current. It barely moves, and it also unable to turn. Maybe the pedal size are too small, plus the ESC keep restarting because of the unbalanced wheels. The setup is failed back to the garage. I finally use both propeller again with rudder like this. I use standard servo on the back to move the rudder. The motor is here, it's brushless in the runner and the boat ESC. Luckily, both are waterproof. I protect the shaft and propeller with a box like this to prevent catching fishing lines. I leave the pedal wheel on its sides because if I strip them off, I will need to patch and repaint the wall. All electronics housed on the toilet. There are two batteries, the left one is 3S for the LED lights and the right one is 2S for the boat. I also attach two switches for lighting and power. I also added search light here. Can be rotated by a 360 standard servo. And I put a 3S LiPo battery on this box to power the lamp. I also add switch to turn it on and off.
the interior lights are not too visible during daytime. We should boating during nighttime. Thank you guys for watching, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you for all your support this year and see you again next year.